Codeine is an opioid found naturally in the opium poppy. Its name comes from the Greek word codea, which means poppy head. Codeine has a medical use as a cough medicine, but is also taken recreationally, often in higher doses. Codeine is one of the most popular pain medications, and when a patient is prescribed by a doctor to take it, they should take 15 to 60 milligrams every 4 to 6 hours. The solution has a very unpleasant taste, and the symptoms are respiratory depression, drowsiness, depression, nausea, vomiting, constipation, and dysphoria. Now let's take a look at the structure of codeine. The molecular formula is C18H21NO3. The molecular weight is 299.37 grams per mole. All of the bonds in this molecule are covalent because they are all between nonmetals, therefore giving off a smell. Codeine comes from an opium poppy plant, which was popular in England as early as 1804. In those early days, opium was usually sold in elixirs such as paregoric, which were marketed as uh, painkillers. In 1804, a German pharmacist discovered how to isolate morphine from opium, which gave rise to the discovery in 1832 of codeine by Perry Wilkwood. In Houston in the 1990s, drinking codeine with a soda-like Sprite became very popular. The mixture is referred to as Lean, Purple Drink, Texas Tea, and Dirty Sprite. Drinking large amounts of codeine is very dangerous because it becomes highly addictive, and also it ruins your body. When mixing codeine with more depressants like promethazine, the person can experience respiratory arrest or cardiac arrest. In rap, we often see rappers promoting codeine as a good way of getting high. I don't think codeine should be easy to get because when abused, it is very dangerous. As a whole, I don't think codeine is benefiting humans. I have read multiple articles from doctors saying other medicines that are more safe have a better result on curing a cough. Due to factories, codeine's expansion has been huge over the last 50 years. The bad thing about that is, the more codeine there is, the more there is a chance of someone to abuse it, which is still happening a lot today. Even though this molecule helped medically in the past, it might soon be forgotten.